Alright, today on Making Fine English Cuisine, I'm going to show you how to make an English soup, or if you prefer to call it, a stew. So, your ingredients are going to be... Turkey! Yum turkey, you love the turkey, it just goes right inside that soup. You get the Nutella! I believe that was invented by an Englishman, if I'm not mistaken. Nice guy here, and I've met him. My V8 Splash with the amazing raspberry on the cover. It's a fantastic drink, but it's going to go in the soup today. You're also going to have some nice sprinkles. Those sprinkles will definitely spice up that soup a bit. Then you're going to have around three candy hearts. You go look at which one you want to take because it depends on the writing. I'll show you that later. XL gum, which is very good to freshen your breath, but it adds a bit of chewiness to the soup, so it's going to be fantastic. My favorite ingredient here. Lucky Charms, whole grain because that's more healthy for you than non-whole grain. So you gotta get the Lucky Charms whole grain. Aged cheddar. It's a delicious cheddar cheese made by Kraft, but it's not just any cheddar cheese. It's aged cheddar cheese. And my final ingredient, one of the most important ingredients. Sauce Exotic! It's amazing with the, what they can do with this yogurt of amazing little qualities like the pineapple and the mango. So what's going to happen is you're going to take the V8 juice. This V8 juice will add, will be the base of your English soup. So you just got to pour a bit in there. Just like this. Oh, fantastic. Very delicious. And then you're going to take the Nutella. Now, when you get the Nutella, it's going to be hard to get out of the thing. So you're going to have to have a knife. You grab it, just like this. And you smear it off the knife into the V8 juice. Fantastic! Next, you got to grab the sauce exotic. This is very tasty and will add that extra kick to your stew. So you just got to plop it in, just like this. No! Oh, oh. oh yeah! So delicious! I don't know how I ever lived without it when I didn't know this recipe. Now, now that you've added in this delicious yogurt, the XL gum is a mandatory thing. It's just got to add that extra chew and that extra minty flavor. So just dump it all in. Oh my god. Now, my favorite ingredient, the lucky chance. You're going to get around a handful. And you just got to pour it all in and then dunk it just like that. So it's quite delicious, but it's also soaked in the amazing V8 juice that I don't know how they produce that amount of flavor. The cheddar! The cheddar is going to be a very good ingredient. You add it in just like this and you mix it in around with the Lucky Charms. It really brings out the sweetness considering this tastes like crap compared to the amazing whatever they're called. So yes, well, just the entire soup. Just drop it on the ground. You gotta grab all the turkey you have in your house. Tear it to bits, just like this. Just like that. The turkey is done, it's in the soup, and you have got a fantastic soup. But we're not done. We are going to be adding 
these three hearts. But you have to decide which one you want to take. Do you want the amazing heart, the pink one, the purple one, or the yellow one? I personally like purple, so I'm just going to plop it right on in there. That is the main ingredient other than the V8 juice because that is the single most important thing you can have in there. The sprinkles! The sprinkles are going to be going in just like this. You want to add it on just like that and you take your knife just like this and you sprinkle it all in there and start jabbing it up. Quite delicious with the meat and the, the sprinkles and the Nutella and the V8 juice. My god, it's so delicious! Fuck! I'm gonna go eat it now, goodbye!